the perfect 7 day puglia road trip itinerary we always knew that we would fall in love with puglia but after diving deep into the region on an extended puglia road trip it's safe to say that we are near obsessed with it from exploring white washed hilltop villages to dipping again and again and again into the sparkling adriatic sea and from devouring endless plates of orecchia to sleeping in one of the region's famous trilli puglia is a wash with delightful italy travel experiences dot long time readers know that we have a tendency to fall in love with certain corners of italy and return to them repeatedly and well let's just say we expect to have plenty of opportunities to continue updating this puglia blog post over the years it's less popular with north americans so far it's less popular with north americans so far but that balance seems to be shifting a bit more each year with a hidden gem as absolutely sublime as this one though it was only a matter of time until the secret got out if you are looking to spend a week exploring a laid back and beautiful corner of italy where the food is fresh fun fact around 40% of italy's olive oil comes from puglia the driving easy the and the swimming sublime this puglia road trip itinerary is for you and i didn't even mention yet that puglia is significantly less crowded and less expensive than hot spots like the amalfi coast and cinque terre however as lecchi and bari are less than 2 hours apart by either train or car you'll easily be able to return to bari at the end of your trip if needed we designed this trip to puglia around visiting white washed villages historic cities and of course lots of beaches and seaside landscapes renting a car for your road trip plus traveling to puglia for most people of course taking a puglia road trip will require renting a car fly into rome or venice and then take the high speed train to bari to start your road trip in puglia this puglia itinerary is specifically designed as a road trip and we do strongly believe that driving is the best way to visit the heel of italy's boot sleeping in a trullo though i will be the first to say it is a delight you may consider spending longer based in monopoli and visiting the interior towns via day trips dot day one arrive in bari and head to monopoli bari puglia's capital and largest city is a perfect launching pad for your road trip whether you arrive in the region by train or plane dot where to stay in monopoli italy we loved our stay at la mason dello zedaio the property was clean spacious and very quiet extra impressive considering its location in the heart of monopoli's small historic center day 2 visit polignano a mare and explore monopoli on the second day of your road trip in puglia head just 15 minutes north or so along the coast to the famous town of polignano a mare you'll likely recognize polignano a mare's picture perfect beach the views of this beach from above are some of the most iconic images of the region While the beach itself is small and very rocky, you will definitely want water shoes if you plan to swim there. The water is gorgeous and the views of the coast from above are well worth the trip. Polignano a mare is one of the most popular read crowded towns in Puglia, so we recommend getting an early start if you can. Don't miss the opportunity to wander through the old town, seeking out stunning views of the Adriatic along the way. You want even more unique views of the coast? Joining one of the popular Polignano a mare boat tours is a fantastic option and will also give you an opportunity to swim away from the crowds at the beach. Picturesque cave overlooking the sea found at Hotel Grotta Palazzes has been used as a restaurant since the 18th century. Today, you'll definitely need reservations if you plan to eat lunch there. Day 3. Head inland to Alberobello and nearby whitewashed towns. As difficult as it can be to leave the coast behind, it's worth it to see another side of Puglia during your week in the region. Today won't just be about Alberobello, but about the surrounding villages. The nearby small towns of Locco Rotondo and Martina Franca are both also well worth visiting, and while they have fewer trilli, they are beautiful and will be far less crowded. Where to stay in Alberobello, Italy? For a memorable stay in the Etria Valley, you can't beat spending the night in a trullo. Day 4, continue exploring the Etria Valley or head to Matera. As you hit the midpoint of your Puglia road trip, it's time for a decision. Option 1, stay in the Etria Valley, continue exploring whitewashed hilltop towns, tasting wine, sampling olive oil, and enjoying trilli.f over several decades. 
though, and Matera has achieved new life as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a popular filming location, for films ranging widely from The Passion of the Christ to James Bond, No Time to Die, and a European capital of culture. Where to stay in Matera, Italy? Unfortunately, as beautiful as the views from our balcony were, we can't recommend the cave hotel we stayed in when visiting Matera. Matera in general is extremely affordable by Italian standards, making it a wonderful place to splurge on a memorable place to stay. Day 5 – Make your way back to the sea in Otranto Whether you have been exploring the Itria Valley or Matera, if you are visiting Puglia during the summer, one thing is certain, at this point, you are going to be ready to get back to the sea. Make your way to Otranto, despite this being your longest drive of the trip, getting from Matera to Otranto is still likely to take you only about 3 hours, where you can enjoy wide, sandy beaches and plenty of coastal charm again. While in Otranto, be sure to pay a visit to the gorgeous Duomo, the Castello Aragonese, and the tiny church of St. Peter. Walking along the town ramparts is also a must, but without a doubt, a good portion of your time in Otranto should be dedicated to beach time. Where to stay in Otranto, Italy? We loved our stay at the spacious Marimar Apartments, located a short walk from Centro Storico and an even shorter walk from the sea. B&B Palazzo Marzo and Palazzo di Mori are both excellent options as well. Otranto's Small Day 6 – Explore Otranto and visit the Cave of Poetry While we have tried to leave plenty of room for afternoon swimming in this 7-day itinerary for Puglia, today is the only day that is dedicated almost exclusively to it.